Hi folks, how's everybody doing today? Sure glad you tuned in to watch us. I'm George Hogan and we're going to paint a beautiful painting right here on this 16 by 20 canvas right here. Now I'm going to start off here with some liquid white oil paint and spread that all over the canvas and just have a good old time. But we don't want to spend too much time having a good time because we only got a half hour to do it so we got to Move along, we got a lot of things we want to do here. So anyways, this here painting class here, we have, well we actually have a painting class once a week around here. Uh, but this here is for our, our new series TV show here on Cable 12 West. And we got Mike on the camera working with us today. He's back there just paying attention to every, every minor detail or major detail. But anyways, he's doing a good job and uh, this is our third painting for the season, so uh, we're proud about that, getting that underway. Uh, did some paintings quite a while back, uh, oh, well, going on almost 10 years ago now, we did some oil paintings on, on the TV and uh, we decided to do some more just because we had so much fun doing it and we thought we'd come back and do that. And anyways, here we go. I'm going to paint a little mountain scene this time. Now that's liquid white right there and that helps give us the foundation for our painting. And uh, foundation, then we put a little sky in here too with some clouds and stuff. Maybe it'd be kind of stormy. This is a little uh, mixture of uh, of uh, the blues and blues and browns and grays and all kinds of things right here. You know, we have like this. You just put the paint up there and uh, it's like stormy little clouds up here. It's kind of stormy, stormy a little bit here and, and it goes every which way and it goes around. Mix it with that white. See, it mixes with that white and makes these pastels right here. And that's where we get this from right here. Then we have water down here like this, put the paint down there, make us some water, it goes flat across there, oh, nice and smooth, nice and smooth right over there. Now the water acts as a mirror and it reflects up into the clouds, reflect down into the water. So that's why it gives us painting a little harmonic look to it and balance. Yeah, balance of the painting right there, like that, like that move me across there. Now we have all this paint up here. Look what a mess. You know, that's when you start having fun is when you make messes. Remember when you were a kid and made messes, you had more darn fun. Now, your parents didn't have that much fun with it, but you sure did. So now we just hypnotize the sky here. Now watch what happens. It's like magic, 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 magic. Go like this, make a mess, make a mess. Oh my God. Make a mess over here like this, a little like that. We got some dark cloud in the middle in there, a little like that. And this here, this storming down over here like this, like the wind is blowing through there. It's a cold, cold almost going towards nighttime here. And it's very cold out, very cold. Very cold, very cold. And it's not going to warm up for a while. No, it's not fit for man nor beast out here. And uh, so we're going to have that wind whistling through here, blowing through there, coming down over here. Now see the color just blends right with that liquid white. And that's where you get those pastel colors from. Now like this here, you get the pastel colors. So that's, you know, they call that, they call that, that's that liquid, uh, wet into wet technique. So, so we got that nice, simple little sky. Now these are these paintings are not. These are done in real time, half hour. So we got that. But uh, it's was always nice to have a little mountain out there. Go put a little mountain out there. Every painting needs a little mountain, so we put a little a little mountain over here. We get our palette knife and mix these colors all together like this. It's a just go like this, all exactly like this, just a little bit different. And then we put a mountain up over here, put our palette knife. Oh, big old mountain right there. We come down through there, go over like that. Pick that out of there. Get that extra paint out of there like that. 
And then we come down like this and have a little Heather's mom just go way back in the distance like that. Way down like that. And then mom go way down. Way over there. And that's a mist at the bottom. The mist at the bottom. Like this. It gets misty. Because there's a lot of snow blowing around over here. A lot of snow blowing and it blows and blows and blows. And where it goes, we don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. See, like that. Now, like that. See, it goes like that. Now, the light is coming from the left side, so we're going to put some snow up over here. This would be the shadows here. Well, let me get down a little bit more here. Yeah, a little bit more. Now, I want the paint to come down. I want a little more base to the mouth. See, right there, pull the paint down. See, the oil, oil paint is so much fun. That's what you can do with oil paint. With oil paint, you pull it. Pull it down. You can stretch it and stretch it and stretch it. And you can't, it's hard to do with water-based paint, acrylic paint. It dries, you know, in a matter of a few minutes. So you can't do that. It's very hard to do. But oil paint, they always talk about oil painting and the happiness of painting. Years ago, I, I couldn't find that much happiness in painting because I was so hard to learn. It was so hard to learn. And so I didn't find all the happiness because I tried to do perfect and I tried to do all kinds of things. And, and uh... And I wasn't happy. Sometimes learning and struggling and learning isn't that happy. It's hard work. That's why sometimes the class is, it helps too, you know. And I don't want that, their color in there. A class can help too. I've done a lot of studying through books and everything and watching other people create. So, uh, and I'll put some, just some pure white here. And I'll put the... On the Sarah side of the mountain, 